Hey, 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 Instagram. Oh, let me see. That's better light. Hey, Instagram. It's me. It's Tay. Miss Tay's Good Hair Day. TNT Beauty, founder of Go Go Glam and Tomorrow's Mobile Notary. We are talking today on Where They At Wednesday with Miss Vanessa Wilkins. She is fantabulous. We'll talk about how we met. We'll talk about her journey as an entrepreneur and as a professional. And you guys can find out where to get her assistance. Trust me, I one of her classes. Vicious. So I know that she'll get you guys right. Hey, Michelle. Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining me on Where They At Wednesday again. Vanessa is already here. So let's join. What's happening? It's waiting. Hi. I think we got action. Hello? I can kind of hear you, but I can't see you. It says I'm still waiting. Oh, I can see you. That's weird. I see how pretty face. Sounds like you're talking in. Oh, I'm oh no. Technical oh. difficulties messing up our flow. I can talk back now. Let's try that. It says it's reconnecting. It might work. Do you want to give it a sec? Can you see me? I totally can see you. You look so cute. You got a little And you hair. can hear me too? I, I can see all the things, well, honey. You got a little, mm. um, a little baggage. I still can't see you, and it sounds like you're in a fan. Let's try this again. Yep. Oh, wait. Ooh, ooh, right. ooh. Hi. Wait. wait. Huh. Hi. I see you. Hi. <laughs> I see you. How are you today, beautiful? Well, I'm good. I've been talking to a lot of my fitness professionals, and you know, the hustlers are gonna hustle. That's right. Like, real talk. Some people are doing better now than before. Mm. So I'm I'm trying to figure out their secret sauce. Like, those are the people that I'm like, I'm sorry, wait, what? What are you? Uh-huh. Let's tune in. Wait a minute. There's been a pivot. I need to know what pivot that is. Right. What are you doing? Because I need to be on that train. Mm. And the other part of it is, like, if I talk to some of my, my negative Nancy people, whoo, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, I don't know if they call it an intuitive person or a feeling person. But when I talk to those people, I'm like, Swing low. Yeah. It's that empath where it's like the, the energy just soaks into you. You got to shut that down. Mm -mm. I, don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I'm the same way. I have to I have to protect my environment at all costs because it'll soak in me like a sponge. And then I'll be sitting there in a rut having to try to shake it off. And who has time for that? I don't. What time is it? Is it negative time? No. No. <laughs> no, it isn't. There's never time for negativity. And I know me because, because I mean, everybody already has their own stuff. And this is a tough time for us, especially as small business people. It's a real situation. I mean, and not even just especially because I know a lot of people that work corporate and these changes are affecting them. Their teams have been downsized like crazy. Like people are hurting. So, yeah, we need to try to keep the keep the positive energy flowing and the productivity. So, speaking of which, this is the flowing. Um, those of you who are just tapping into where they at Wednesday again, I am Tay from Miss Tay's Good Hair Day, TNT Beauty, uh, Tomorrow's Notary, and Go Go Glam, and this is Vanessa Wilkins. Uh, she is Fitnessa four one five here on the Instagram. She is a um, group fitness and short extraordinaire, a trainer, a motivator, a beautiful all around person, and a songbird. I found out. Yeah, there's that part. <laughs> a song chickadee. Not a song hen, but a song chickadee. <laughs> 
Well, so let's talk about your your journey. How did you, um, because we all start somewhere. I met you as a seasoned fitness professional um, when you were developing the program at 49er Fitness. How did you get started on this journey? You know, it was a crazy thing because I, this is where you and I, like, I fall in love with people that are song and dance people. Like, if you're an artist, like, I have an affinity. I'm attracted to you like a fly to, like, a moth to a flame. I'm like, wait, what are you doing? I want to see. So um, that was our immediate, because we're hams. Both of you and I are little ham lambs. (laughs) So that was the immediate attraction. So I was like, this is a little sparkler bug. Fantastic. I started out as a song and dance girl. My father was a musician. I was around, I grew up around a huge horn section. I, um, I was always, I was in musical theater. I could dance before I could, before I could talk. I could read before I could walk. Like I was just all the things like I, I would sit in the theater. My mom, you know, she was a single mom, bless her heart. Um, and she would drop me off at musical theater and I would stay there all day. I wouldn't even call her. I would just watch the actors and actresses. Like I was that mm-hmm. honey. Okay. Yes, I wish. But for me, that was great because a lot of the other kids, like then, then that gave me a love for reading, right? I, I was really wanting to go to another place. My reality when I went home wasn't that fabulous, but I right. loved the fabulous. So the more I was in theater, the more I wanted to read, the more I read, the more the, the, my, my world got bigger through pages, through yeah. books. Like, I saw the world lens. And um, so from that, I that always carried that with me. I thought I was going to go into theater. I thought I was going to go to New York. Turns out I met a man. Man, boy. <laughs> man, tied me down, knocked me up. I was really young. Yes, it, it can happen to you. So be careful. Wrap it up. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you to tie me down and knock me up? I don't think... <laughs> No, Tie me down, maybe. Just don't knock me <laughs> up. <laughs> it can happen. You got penises. You're right. Should come with a warning label. Penises. <laughs> yes. They should. They should. So I, my brain just said a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna tuck that back. <laughs> now, mm, careful. So I, I um, got pregnant at a very young age. It made me pivot you know, my college career changed, like, now it became about making money, I couldn't just think about being the artist, as we all know, being an artist is wonderful and beautiful and all those things, doesn't always be the bills. Right. So, uh, the only thing I could do with with two children was to to teach a class, I could put my kids in childcare, teach a class, put my kids in childcare, and teach a, 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 and train a client. My first year of training, guess how I Close to six figures. How much? Close to six figures. Oh. Like first year. And I wanted to talk to you because I haven't had a chance to really reach out to my people of color and let them know Mm -hmm. fitness is an easy entry. You do not need to have a doctorate degree. As a matter of fact, you can save yourself some stress and strife because I'm still paying off my school loans, right? Mm. And get into, locked into that system and find a career. If you love fitness, you love being in front of people, you're passionate, you can make that money, even today. It's different, it's a different game. But, right. you know, after this, after we, we leave this call or this chat, if anybody's interested, please DM me. I will do my best to introduce you to my network of people who are making money and who made a career out of this industry. I've had such an awesome career. I've got to travel the world teaching fitness. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> who does that? I don't right. And I'm so blessed. I don't say it to like show off, but I'm just so blessed and I just don't think yeah. people know about it. So when you um, pivoted to um, doing fitness, were you initially teaching Dance, because again, you were a song and dance girl. Were you initially doing that, or um, did you go straight into okay? I need to do this piece. Well, I went into I went in. I started as a personal trainer, really, and then on the mm-hmm. personal training floor. Of course, this is what happens because people, people, please show up on time. 
But what's great for me is people are people, and so they don't show up on time, and or they don't show up at all. And so, of course, I get a frantic call from my whoever's working the front desk. I'm at a gym. Imagine me at the gym. I'm sitting on the on the fitness floor. Don't know what the hell I'm doing still, really, except for trying to mm -hmm. get a career. Somebody goes, "There's somebody didn't show up for class. I need you to. Can you teach cycle?" I was like, "I don't know how to teach cycle." They're like, "Boy, there's 20 people in a room, and they're getting pissed." Do something. Mm -hmm. I, like, mm -hmm. it's got I, I can maybe make this happen. We must have. I must have put on some back and that was popping. We were popping locking. So I bet. After that, we were like, no, you're gonna have to show up because this other instructor is just like not timely, doesn't care about our time. Like we're here, mm -hmm. we want to work. I was like, well, wait, let's do it. So um, it started off with cycling, believe it or not. Mm. And then and then moved to dance. I was one of three of the first Zumba instructors in San Francisco. I taught. 20, really? Yes, girl. 23 dance classes a week. So I didn't tell you this, but a few years ago, I became a certified Zumba instructor and just never taught. I wish. Why did you tell me that? I would have had you. So you, you would have been working. I would have put you to work. And, you know, really, really what happened, the reason why I didn't go, I didn't push the issue is because I didn't have a mentor. And it was difficult for me to, through the little app, to um, find choreography and put together things. Like, I needed to, the way that I learned and I grasped, like, I need a person. Right. You know, I yeah. need to, and that wasn't totally, uh, that wasn't easily accessible to me. So I just kind of let it fall by the wayside. This, and this is the thing. I wish I because you know, I used to teach jazz dance when I was younger too, right? Oh, I can tell that you were like, boom, kek, kek. Yeah, I, I totally used to dance. This was life. <laughs> <laughs> dance is life. <laughs> oh, I feel it. I feel yeah. it. Yes. I yeah, I actually, um, I wanted to. I was going to use it as a way, number one, to make some additional money um, and, and to get myself back in shape while helping others get back in shape. That was my mind for it. Yeah. I'm just going to say hi to a couple of people. Hi. Hi yeah. Hi, Gemma Jula. Hi, Kuda Puna. Hi, <laughs> Aiken Counting. <laughs> hello, Michael Landis. And B2B, mm -hmm. Mr. Green. Oh, well, hello to all the people that logged in, and, and, and I hope you listen to this later, because if I had known that you had that experience, I would have just been on you like why don't rice girl uh it is so i mean i've, made, I've simplified it so that is i i, I have mm. a program i package it up for instructors to learn how to instruct and get in front of those rooms put the choreography together present whatever it is some people come with different you know needs and issues so but i'm right. here for you you can still have it you know that's actually i mean you already know i am self-employed i have things that I do and things are pivoting. I mean, I never not want to move. So that's something that I'll probably discuss. You already know I have a lot that I'm getting ramped up right now with the Tomorrow Mobile Notary and pivoting in the beauty business um, with Go Go Glam and things like that. But at some point in the near future, I mean, I, I mean, and it's something that's, that's flexible and I need to get back in shape anyway. So I, I'm not opposed to that at all. We can definitely talk about it. And I, actually, since you were saying that... Um, inviting whomever might be interested in that. I actually have a friend, dope, 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 dope person, like dope dancer and teacher. And she's right now doing, um, she's pivoted to online. And you know, that's a transition. We'll talk about your transition too, to doing um, Afro fusion dance classes online. Yes. So with Afro hip hop, she's so dope. I want to connect the two of you. Yeah. And she's here in the Bay Area. She's in Oakland. Okay, I'm in Oakland. I'm at the Oakland YMCA right now. I, I helped open the fourth. Oh. But now I'm in Oakland. So. That's perfect. So I'm definitely going to connect the two of you. For you all that are all just tuning in, yeah. this is Vanessa Wilkins. You all can follow her at Fitnessa415 on the Instagram. Vanessa, do you also have a website or is that in the works? It's, I just pulled the website because I hired some coaches and they're like, girl, you're all over the place. So I'm learning mm -hmm. how to really because uh, uh -huh. there's a lot of things that I, that, that I do 
and I'm really, I'm finding out I'm more of a lifestyle brand. So the website will be up uh -huh. on Friday. Um, DM me. Give me head, head yes, head. follow Fitnessa415 to stay up on um, her website and the things to come. And that's the beauty of this social media stuff. You know, we can connect with each other. We can stay up on what's happening on and off this platform. Um, and that's why we do this. We need to know where you at, Vanessa. We need to know. Do You do need to know because I want to connect people. Like, here's the deal. I've been working in this industry for so long. I love it. I grew up in this industry. It's kept me healthy. It's kept me sane. It's kept me positive. There's so many positives to it. Again, it's an easy entry. And I don't see a lot of me's in the room, like a lot of me instructors. Me meaning this, this color right here. Yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, and I want to be a catalyst. Like I'm trying to pass the torch. So people, I'm telling you, let's talk about it. Let's get you in these rooms. Let's get you online. There, there are a lot of reasons why black folks, in my opinion, a lot of reasons, one of them being, sorry, let me back it up. There are a lot of reasons why black folks are not seen doing fitness a ton or not in the studios and it's part of it's because we don't see us on tv we don't see yeah. us on the ads like the marketing isn't for us so right it's going to take all of us i need i need to get these these faces out there and you need to introduce you to people and show you that there's a whole network there's a whole career path that some yeah. of you maybe thought about or thought was was inaccessible it's not i it, it's just opportunity and i um there's so much out there so I've gotten the feeling that another part of what you do is going into um, environments or in organizations and getting their programs rolling. Is that true? Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm sort of a gateway drug for, for, um, <laughs> for Vanessa, the gateway drug. <laughs> no, <laughs> let me stop. Um, for a few things. Well, a couple, for fitness in general, uh, people will call me to fix. Like, I'm a fixer, so I can go in. I can assess, just because I've been doing it so long. I can be like, well, mm -hmm. the technology, what are you guys doing? Or, hey, we're uh, a lot, I've been a part of a lot of fit, uh, fitness startups. I know mm -hmm. the, I've got the formula down. So yeah. I get a lot of calls in regards to that. Fitness and technology, like I was a Fitbit coach. I'm an audio coach. I'm online. You can find me on oh. online library on Grokker. I've done a lot of fitness production. So when it comes to the business, I would had an affinity to want to learn it. So whatever you are thinking, um, I can help. Um, as far as me goes, like I tend to work more middle management. Oh, I love, I, we got a heart. We got one heart. Oh, we love heart. Let's do it. Come on. Thank you. Oh, I could do a half a heart because I'm holding my phone. Oh, okay, we need to get you a little. Okay, a little half heart. <laughs> uh, so as far as I'm usually working middle management or I'm in production. So mm -hmm. I'm usually, usually a group fitness director or your fitness. Um... Gotcha. And all of this information is also going to be available on your website when you get going. On my website is going to be really three things. Since I do so much, just connect with me on the lifestyle brand because on the lifestyle, mm -hmm. on the lifestyle brand, we're just going to talk about all the things because health isn't one thing. And right. pandemic, like I really realized that I have a voice and I hope you all look for your voice because people need to hear from you. And yeah. I'm kind of hidden in the shadows. I'm like, nobody wants to hear all that. But I've been married for 26 years. That's a thing. Like, I'm proud yeah. of that. I'm really proud of that. And because of my fitness career, it's kept me sane when I get in my head and want to take things out <clears throat> on my spouse. Like that yeah. lifestyle has been so helpful. So yeah. it, it's, I want people to think of this as being really how to, how to live a life that is just fruitful and happy. And at the end of the day, yeah. that's, that's really what I'm pushing. So there's a couple of programs that I have. On the website, it'll be how, how to utilize them as a fitness mentor. Mm -hmm. And then I have programs for that. The, oh, the other thing will be how to um, how to take a class. Maybe you're just like, I don't want all that. I want to take a class. I want to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Fine, they'll be how to do that. And then, of course, public speaking is a is a love of mine. And also just mm -hmm. letting people know 
how I live and what I do. I'm finding that that's a thing. I'm finding that that's unique. Yeah. That, I mean, you're unique. And I think that it's wonderful. Um, I know that you mentioned that initially someone was looking at your website and was like, you're all over the place, so they're going to, like, simplify it. But I think that a lot of people are told, oh, because you're not doing one thing, you're all over the place. But really, just like people are not one-dimensional, your life, your gifts, and your talents are not one-dimensional, but they do also connect. So just because you have different parts of you, doesn't mean you're all over the place. Sometimes it just needs to be packaged and presented in a certain way where other people can understand it and filter through it clearly. So I think that that's important. So sometimes our lives are similar to the website situation where it looks like it's all over the place. Yeah. Once we organize it and package it up, you'll realize it all connects. We're all connected and we're not one thing. We're multi-purposeful, multi-dimensional, multi-talented. You know what I mean? We have lots of different things going on. So as far as the public speaking goes, where are you using that? I know that you mentioned you were doing a podcast for a little bit. What, um, where are you using your voice? Where can we hear it? Okay. So I started uh, a podcast with my good friend of my, my gay, fabulous husband. Love him. He's like, work, work, work. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and, you know, he's an immigrant. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mixed Mexican and black woman. Our view we didn't really hear voice our voices in the podcast um, uh, streets, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So we were really interested in sharing our view of the world. We are very tongue in cheek, so we say things that are out of pocket all the time. We're, I have we haven't gotten in trouble yet, but I'm sure it, but more people <laughs> But you know, it comes with a disclaimer because we're definitely our the authentic selves. And yes. we wanted to share stories of, with just everyday people. And we're always amazed at how people have gotten through things. We always try to give it a positive spin. Unfortunately, not every story that we are interviewing, every interview we've given is positive, you know? Right. But I think it's how we feel. And it's been yeah. really cathartic for us on the podcast to, to kind of lay it all out there and talk about all of our deep, dark secrets. Because I'm not, I have no shame anymore. I'm like, right. I'm like, this is me. I get it. So I get it. You and I have had some conversations about some stuff, you know, and about maybe in it, in it, and it's sharing information to us. And it's like, okay, well, this is what it is. And for some people, these may be things that they will tuck down and, and take to their grave. So, you know, to be, um, to be able to be authentic and to be comfortable in yourself and to understand that um, who I was and the things that I've experienced contribute to who I am, but I'm not in a box of the perception of those things. Yeah. When we open up about that, Oftentimes, it makes other people feel more comfortable being their authentic self yes. and learning the balance that it doesn't have to be one extreme or the other, even though we know through experience that sometimes you got to go from one extreme to the other to find where your balance is. Yeah. So I think it's beautiful that these platforms like, you know, this one, the social media and all these podcasts are coming up and people are sharing their thoughts and experiences, even if we don't necessarily agree with or want to um, buy into or change our lifestyle to other people's just knowing that those platforms are available and knowing that you can hear and learn from and glean from other people. Yeah. And, and, and like you said, share your own voice as well, because we all have one and it comes out differently and um, it's not always positive, you know, and some, some stuff just is, it doesn't have to be positive or negative. That's a matter of perception. Right. It just is, yeah. you know, these are people's experiences and it's real life and it happens. Well, I'd like to hear your podcast. Where can we find it? It's called My Limited View. I mean, you're either going to laugh your ass off or you're going to cry. For the most part, we're, re we're re ridiculous. Mm. Um, it's called My Limited <laughs> View. You can find it on Apple, iTunes, um, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. Okay. Most of the places you get podcasts. My limited view. My limited view. And if you all want to, um, if you haven't jotted that down and you remember later, hey, I want to see what that podcast is. Again, you can still follow Vanessa on Instagram, fitnessa415 right here, and you can uh, contact her to get a reminder of that. I will also be sharing it in the recap. 
So again, my limited view, you can get it on Google Play, on Spotify, on um, iTunes, and all of that good stuff. And just follow her fitness at 415 right here on Instagram. And then the last little thing that I'm doing, I know I'm like, a, I'm trying to be like a social media marketing dynamo, like get Ooh. it all out there. Like I'm Ooh. coming out to the world. So the last thing that I, um, we just launched was Erica Magazine. So Erica mm -hmm. is a book of inspiration, you know, after the Floyd and the, you know, the protest and the sadness and all of the things that made me really reflect on how I want to um, move on the planet. Erica Magazine is a reflection of that. <clears throat> so mm. it's a little book of inspiration. I just like, I'm going to be interviewing and talking to and sharing with my favorite designer who is a sister who lives in Oakland. She's got, her name is Taylor J and she, mm. her outfits are on Pizoint. So anybody that inspires okay. me, um, and, and others, I want to put them on blast. I think it's time. Well, I feel you. What you think where they at Wednesday is? We need to know where y'all at. You all inspire me every time. Hello. Wait. Look at that, kindred spirits. Those like minds over there zooping. You see the zoop? I see the zoop. We zooping out here. <laughs> We've been zooping since she walked in the salon and was like, I need my hair cut short and blonde. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna shave my head. She was like, wait, what? I'm going to just shave it. Shave it down mm -mm. and and blonde me out. This is what I do. I am Vanessa. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Got you. And we've been rocking ever since. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I'm really grateful. Um, really quickly, so I know we're you're you're uh, plugging me. How can I um, let people know about Miss Tay and where can they find you? I mean, are you? I don't know what's going on in San Jose right now. Ah, this is a whole situation right now. So unfortunately, I can't take clients online. So <laughs> um, with these shelter in places, I really don't know exactly how they're going to allow us to operate as far as me taking clients. Um, I am, however, I do have an essential business that, um, that I can operate in, and that's uh, tomorrow's mobile notary. So I am a notary public, and um, I'm mobile, so I can go to the Bay Area, pretty much anywhere in California. But you know, if you need me to do a signing, um, the, the, I'm not going to drive eight hours to do a signing. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Bay so Bay Area, South Bay, um, I am a mobile notary. As soon as I get information on when they'll allow us to open and I'll be able to take clients, um, then I will be putting that out there. We're really waiting. They're taught that there's talks of have allowing us to operate outside. I have my thoughts about that. Um, yeah. as far as like practicality and cost effectiveness yeah. and even the, the, the duration that that would even be, you know, what, what, what after that, you know, after we yeah, yeah, spend yeah. all this money on possibly things that may be able to, it's just, it's just a lot. So right now, um, that part of my business is not thriving, but I am using this opportunity to continue to grow and to learn things and to, um, ramp things up with go, go glam, my mobile beauty supply business. I'm trying to find capital to get that really rolling, there's already been a need and now there's even more so of a need for us to have um, some supplies delivered to our work or home or appointments or whatever that happens. People are having to take care of their hair more at home. And again, when it's us and there's curly hair involved and ethnic people involved, um, there's a lack in this area that provides for us. So I definitely want to be able to provide to us, for us, from us as, as, po as much as I possibly can. Um, it's a little difficult when you don't have a team and your main source of income is pretty much gone, but it's happening. We're rolling slowly but surely. I do have some inventory. It's just not a whole lot. So y'all can follow me on Instagram. You guys know where to find me. You know where it's at. <laughs> so for my people, Miss Tay's good, ha good hair day. So for those of you who are like, who did your hair? Oh my God, your hair looks so amazing. This is her. Hi, this it's me. Her. It's growing out a little bit now. I'm in an in-between stage, but this is, the, mm -hmm. this is the goddess. How is it? Um, How is that the new color working? I we need a fresh cut. 
No, I, well, I, you could tell I pulled some, I knew she was going to say something. I was hoping we can get offline. We might have talked about, mm -hmm. um, turns out that I am orange. So when we put, we put the color on, you gave me exactly the color I wanted, but I looked one color. So Miss Tay did my hair, but I took it out because I asked for something, but I asked for something. It just didn't look right. I'm a fraggle rock. I'm a fraggle. So it didn't look right. I look like one of the fraggles. So then let's. So offline, let's chat, let's see what we got, and let's figure out how we can get you what is going to um, complement you better, white. even though, yeah, let's, let's, we can figure that out. Platinum, white, right, people? That's totally your thing. <laughs> it's totally your thing, and I can do that. <laughs> Hi, I'm a blonde bombshell. Thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> And, and you know what? That color actually does really, really fit you. It's beautiful on you. It complements you very well. It fits your personality. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with switching it up, but there's nothing wrong with switching back either. So, it's all good. I was bored. Plus, I wanted to see you. So, I got to see you for a minute, and it worked. So, that, yeah, it was priceless. Yeah, I always enjoy seeing you. So, again, everyone, um, if you guys need to know where Vanessa's at, you can follow her on Instagram, fitness of 415 um, all of the things that she has going on from the coaching to, um, yeah, are you doing online classes too? I am. You can find me through the Oakland YMCA. It's an open portal, so it's free. Oakland YMCA. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oakland YMCA. She's, she's doing training and, uh, uh, group fit classes on there. Yeah. Um, look for her website coming up. It'll be easy to navigate all of her many talents, services, and gifts from public speaking from, um, what is it? What was the name of the magazine again? Erica Magazine. Erica Magazine. Um, if you all are looking to break into the business um, of fitness, this is an entire industry. That's the thing. Some people look at things and they only see one job. You have to understand that it's an entire industry available. So even if you feel like this one little piece may not be your thing, Look into it. If you're interested in that industry, there's a place for you. And um, Vanessa can probably guide you. She's experienced. She's dope. She's easy to talk to. Follow her at Fitnessa415. Send her a DM. Um, comment on a post. She's available, and she'll she'll help you out. You know, I, I think it's important. And again, I have somebody that I want to connect you with. I think it's also just to build a network. Like you were saying, um, there's not a lot of representation of us in certain things. I mean, if you're in the loop, you see who's there. But from the outside, it's not a whole lot. No. Um, I happen to know quite a few people throughout the U.S. that are us that are in fitness, that are training and have gyms and stuff like that. And I, I would love to um, help to put that network, bring it, bring it in a little bit more with you yeah. guys because uh, why not, you know? bring it all together you iron sharpens iron out here you know like i said it's a whole industry why not y'all might show up at a at a conference or be at some kind of something i don't know what what y'all buff people do so. <laughs> we just flex and then we just flex and look at ourselves that's pretty much it just oof. and then the, and the <laughs> that's how we do is flex this is we flexing on them on them hoes <laughs> But it's, it's um, I'm really grateful to have you in my network. I wouldn't have invited you here if I didn't. You have a beautiful spirit, great energy. Um, I always learn a lot from you. I always feel um, like I'm not so alone in the world when I talk to you. Our energies are very, very similar. And yeah, you're just an all around dope person. So, and like I said, guys, she really knows her stuff. I did take a class from her. I was late to a client taking her class because I thought it was 30 minutes, ended up automatically rolling over into another class. And she refused to tell me. I think she did it on purpose. I think she was trying to help me. <laughs> she didn't say, this is a different class. I'm in there still dragging myself around the room. <laughs> you did great. Let's tell the part. <laughs> I got it done, but I, I do too. Thank you so much. Again, you all, Fitnessa415, follow her on Instagram. Find out all the things that she has going. That's how you know where she's at. All right. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate you. Love you, girl. Love you too. Thank you.
All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Where They At Wednesday. Sorry for missing last week. Um, there were some personal issues with the guest, but we'll probably have her on another time because you guys need to know where she's at, too. So, again, follow Fitness at 415 on Instagram um, for all of your fitness business stuff if you just want to take a class if you just want more information if you're interested in the lifestyle this woman is dope she's experienced she's a wife she's a mother she's a speaker she's a person she's she's all around dope so stay connected i'll see you guys next week love you so much bye